good. Yeah. Hey everybody, uh, just gonna make a quick video for uh, oil pumps for the 3S. Um, just gonna go over a couple differences between the generations. I also have a 5S out of a 97 and up Camry. Um, use this as a reference for the video. Um, so basically we're gonna start with the gears. Uh, we can't use the gear off of a 5S. Uh, it's a square cut. Um, the three S's are round, so we'll skip this one and move on to these. Um, this is a second gen three S GTE, fourth gen three S GTE. I don't have a third gen with me to compare. Um, then these two over here are fourth gens as well, um, but uh, this is from a Caldina and this is an Alteza. So um, the gears on the second gen, fourth gen and the Caldina are all the same size. Um, the diameter is a 2.650 and all of them have uh, 27 teeth. Then this one right here from the Alteza is a smaller gear. Uh, it only has 25 teeth. So uh, the total diameter for that is 2.450. Uh, so that's a bit smaller. Uh, so I just want to keep that as a note. Uh, it does have it is physically does physically look different um, it's a different style so uh, we're going to move on to the rotor part of it which is the more important side uh, like I said this is a 97 and up Camry uh, pump it's commonly swapped out with the second gen uh, 3S's due to the higher volume capacity um, so this one has a diameter I can get this out so a total diameter from side to side of 2.360 and then a total thickness of 6.10 now this one here has the same diameter but the thickness is different it is uh, reduced to 0 0.550 so it's slightly smaller uh, that's why it's got a little bit less uh, flow to it. Now we're going to move on to the fourth gen one here. Uh, this rotor shares the th same thickness as the 5S and same diameter. So essentially it's sort of the same rotor um, or gear. And um, so that's basically, uh, it's the same diameter of 2.360 2 and then a diameter or thickness, sorry, of 0.610 so um, basically it's the same um, now moving on to these two here this is where it gets changed up a bit so this is kind of the curious like the curious part about it uh, I've wanted to see what the differences were and there is definitely a difference in these uh, this is a Caldina uh, Gen 4 3S uh, oil pump the diameter is reduced from 2.360 that we see on the other three to 2.280. So the diameter is actually smaller and then the thickness is the same as the Gen 4 that I showed earlier and the 5S at 0 0.610. So it's the same thickness but a little bit smaller. Uh, now this one is, a, is kind of the cool one. Um, this is the one from Nalteza. It has a diameter that's the same as this one at 2.280, but the thickness is 6.70. That's a lot larger than, well, if we want to compare it to the first gen or the second gen 3S, I mean, we're, that's quite a bit different. And you can also see the difference in a diameter. So it kind of makes a bit of a difference. Um, but that's the difference in the actual rotors and the gear pump part um, so I'm not sure what that either what that really comes out to as far as more pump flow or anything like that just that was quite interesting um, I do know these two I th they can rub out a little bit more so I don't know if maybe the gear size or the the, the pump size difference is what helps um, the extra RPM would make it a little bit safer uh, I'm not quite sure there are a few differences in the actual cases I want to show you real quick. Um, they're located on the back. So 
uh, the back side of the pump's got this little galley here. Um, the rotor kind of, or the, the pump kind of sits in it. On these ones here, they got changed up a little bit. We've actually got an extra passage on this one from the Caldina, and then it also has, I guess, oil uh, draining properties. I'm not sure for the for the seal itself. I just I do know that that is completely different as far as how that looks. Uh, now this one's different as well, where it has even extra, I guess, extra flow. I just thought it was very interesting that it has these. Um, it as well also has these holes in the bottom. Um, so it's very interesting. I'm not sure exactly what those are for or anything like that. Maybe someone's got some information. I just kind of want to get all of these together and show the differences. Uh, now, as far as I know, these three can all be interchanged. Uh, the pickup is the same, uh, same locations. And then your feed for the, the feed and return for the oil filter are all in the same locations. Uh, the only issue with maybe using the Alteza one, uh, the, G, the 3S Alteza one, is that it kind of hits the block here. So you might need to do some clearancing if you're wanting that extra oil flow or whatever advantages this pump would actually provide. Uh, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Just kind of want to show the quick differences between these while I have them. Uh, this one is the one I'm using for my project now, so it's going to be going on my motor. So I needed to get this done before I finish this up. So um, if you guys have any information or any questions or anything, uh, feel free to, you know, write them down below. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. See you guys later.